Hey everyone, welcome to this short recorded video. My name is Stacy Kildall and I get to show you one of my very favorite features in QuickBooks Online Accountant, Batch Reclassify. I'm already logged in to my new QBOA account, but to do so, all you need to do is go to office.intuit.com and enter in your existing Intuit ID and password. Don't worry, if you don't have one, you can create one there. So looking at my client list, I've already actually searched and filtered. It was very easy for me to do, and I'll show you how I did that. Uh, and my client list, I can simply click find a client, type in a portion of the client name. Mine comes up here. We have QBO demo. This is the one I'm looking for. To access the client data, I'm going to click the QuickBooks Online icon here. It's going to open up in a new tab, leaving my QBOA account open over here. And that way, should I need to access any notes or tasks here, uh, maybe to let my employees know, because we have multi-user now available in QBOA and the new QBOA, I can do that. So going back to my client data over here, it brings me to my accountant home. The first thing I want to do is make sure that my period review date is correct, and I am looking at this year to date. I could change this if I wanted to and have it look at this quarter to date, this fiscal year to date. So for now, I'm just going to say we'll just change it to this month to date. Anything that any reports I open are going to default to this, as well as my batch reclassify. To get to batch reclassify, you can see over here in the top right, I have this gear icon. Simply click on that, the menu drops down. If you need to, if you've made a, dis a mistake and you need to get rid of that, you can click it again and it'll pop back up. But that's where we need to go to get to our batch reclassify. So clicking my gear icon and going over here to my accountant area. These are some accountant specific tools that are only available if you've logged in via QBOA. And right at the top of the list is what we want, reclassify transactions. So the window that's going to pop up, we don't have too many transactions. It's the beginning of the year. It's still January. And what happens is it's going to give you a couple options. You can make sure that your period review date is correct as well as your report basis, which we decided on our accountant homepage. I can choose to view this via P&L or balance sheet accounts. I want the P&L. I want to look at transactions with everyone's name. And then I can choose to look at non-item based or item based transactions. For right now, I'm going to choose non-item based transactions. I'm going to go over here to our chart of accounts and I want to choose Dex and Patio because this is income and I'm wondering, I'm thinking that maybe there might be a problem based on the balance that I'm showing. So if I click on this, I can see exactly what the problem is. This looks like a credit card charge that was posted to that should be maybe job materials because the memo on it is mulch and it was from the job material store. So it looks like someone just misposted this credit card charge. What I also notice is that the parent account is landscaping services and it looks like the class tracking may be incorrect as well. Just in case I want to I can click right on this transaction, take a look and see what the transaction was, exactly what I thought it was, credit card charge, you can see credit card charge, the vendor, the account that it was posted to, the description, and again it was charged here to a customer and the wrong class. I can go ahead, cancel out of this. It's going to bring me right back to my batch reclassify, and I just want to check the box here and make sure I get this to the right account. Down here in the bottom right, I can choose the correct account, and I can either scroll through my chart of accounts, and we want to get to our cost of goods. So maybe we have our landscaping services, and we need to change our class tracking as well to landscaping reclassify, and now it's gone. So we can see it's been properly posted very quickly and easily. Last thing I want to point out is you can use the item-based transactions. This, I love this. You're not able to reclass the account because it's posting to the wrong account because the products and services or the items were set up incorrectly. And I think this is a really great tool to use when you get a new client and you need to do a cleanup or you need to review their data to identify if they possibly have set some of those items up incorrectly. And maybe if you see a lot of invoices in some expense accounts and things like that, maybe they're pointing to the wrong uh, account on the back end. You are able, however, to reclassify the class tracking for item-based transactions in Batch Reclassify. I hope you enjoyed. hope it helps. Have a great day.